Lucifer is the true holder of light. Adonai is the false god. So he's trying to do a 180 degree spin right on that. So you know what? That's why we're here telling you God's favorite plant on the planet is marijuana cannabis hemp. Believe it or not, it's a cure-all to many of our problems, and we've told you before, mm -hmm. it's also a litmus test to see where humanity's at. If you're right with the plant, you're right with God. We banned it in 1937, we kicked God out of this country, we kicked him out of the schools, we're reaping what we sow, things are gonna get much worse than you can possibly imagine, because you know what? That's the way it is. And that is the plan, absolutely. Folks, you know. I've been reading this outstanding book, Why Our Drug Laws Have Failed and What We Can Do About It. You know who wrote this book? Let me tell you. All right, it's a judicial indictment on the war on drugs by none other than Judge James P. Gray. Now let me tell you, if you care enough to confront the issues, go spend some money, go down to your bookstore, and check out this book by Judge James Gray. He's a veteran judge, Superior Court in Orange County in Southern California, former federal prosecutor in Los Angeles, criminal defense attorney in the Navy JAG Corps, and he ran for Congress in 88 as a Republican. All right, but anyway, let me tell you something. Here's what Walter Cron Cronkite has to say about Judge Gray's thorough and scholarly work. Based as it is on, its per on his personal experience, should help considerably to improve our impossible drug laws. His book drives a stake through the heart of the failed war on drugs and gives us options to hope for in the battles to come. Because it is a battle, it's a war. We want to turn this war on drugs to a peace war. And I tell you people, the answer is inside of, of us. It's if we care enough to cross the threshold of our own fears, we're going to come up with the solutions to our problems because you are the cure to the problems. There are no problems, only solutions. If you believe that, well, let me tell you something. Stay tuned because we're going. We're going for it. Now, what are we going for? Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to read something right here. All right, let me tell you. Bunch of zip whack, my brother. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the bands which have connected them with one another, does it sound familiar yet, folks? And to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator. Yeah, creator man with certain unalienable rights, that's right. And among these are the life to puffin', puffin', and puffin' if you so choose to, all right? That, to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, not men amongst government. Let's get it right, folks. Deriving their just powers from the consent of the government. And I say stop, bitch, and start a revolution. Let's end this war on drugs. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, and you tune in next week and you'll see you are a guinea pig. It is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government. Laying the foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence, people, indeed, will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. And you know what? If you've been watching Food for Thought and you've been watching this program, these are not light and transient causes. These are treason. These are conspirators in our country. It's all those murderous. skull and bones, man. The CIA, the DA, all those ABC agencies, they gotta go, let me tell you. Okay, accordingly, all experience hath shown, people, that mankind, unfortunately, are disposed to suffer. That's why we're here to tell you, get off your couch, kill your TV, do something about what we're talking about. Because while people are willing to suffer, all right, rather than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed, but when a long train of abuses and assertions pursuing invariably the same object, evidences a design to reduce them under absolute despotism. Let me tell you something, folks. It is your right, our right. It is our duty, in fact, people, to throw off such government and to provide new guards for future security. And I ain't talking about no homeland security crap. What's next, Fuzzy? What else are we going to show these fine people? We're going to show you, you know what? One of my friends came and visited me the other day at the bar, and I tell you, where I work, and I said, brother, I haven't seen you in a while. What's been going on? He's like, I got arrested. I'm like, what are you talking about? Now, granted, folks, let me tell you something. Smoking weed is illegal, but that is wrong in itself. And I tell you, a witness here, for Jesus Christ himself, I tell you, it's wrong, man. It's wrong these laws are so wrong. It kills me. God, something else we've talked about. Hold on, I just want to finish my law. story. I just want to finish my story. All right, my good friend said, hey, man, I got busted. This dude's a peaceful dude. I'm like, dude, what happened? You gotta tell him. He's like, dude, nine o'clock, I'm sitting in my house. 
All of a sudden, I hear something at the door. All of a sudden, there's 15 cops in there. Some dressed in plain clothes, guns toted out, pointing. You know what? They got hearsay that they were dealing drugs. They got hearsay that there were weapons. But I will tell you something. They were smoking weed. They smelt it. The cops came in. They smelt it. They didn't find anything. They took the, they took the paraphernalia and they busted them on paraphernalia charges. Folks, we got to stop bitch and start a revolution because it's, you know what? That's a total invasion of your property. It's a total invasion to your pursuit to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Because I'll tell you, I smoke the ganja. It makes me happy. It's one of my best friends. You know why? Because I can depend upon it. You know what? I love to grow it. You know why? Because when you grow it, the more you love it, the better it's going to be. It teaches you discipline and loving and nurturing. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. I tell you, there's something wrong with that pig. Even the DEA own reports. Oh, there goes the dope again. Oh, there goes that, Lucifer. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that, uh, cannabis is the safest drug known to man. Well, you know what? His name is Lester Grinspoon. He's a medical. Uh, uh, he's at Harvard, and he said it's the, the safest drug in all of pharmacopoeia, people. Mm, oh my lots God! Of research in cannabinoids. Do some research, folks. I don't know how much time we got left, yeah, cause he was two minutes left. You know, something else that you were talking about before there, you know, led me to think about, you know, we talked about NAFTA. Yes, sir. Here's another example, you know, the NAFTA superhighway. Under that proposed agreement, now this is how easy it's going to be for them to smuggle even more drugs in here because the first checkpoint coming into Mexico is a thousand miles inland in the United States in, in Kansas. Kansas. I lived in Mexico. You want to have nothing to do with that country's politics, corruption. Let me tell you, we got enough corruption in our own country, but I tell you, I lived down there in Tijuana, the Baja. I know how it operates. I'm here to testify. Well, it's I mean, hard to say which is more corrupt. You know, Mexico is definitely more openly corrupt, but I think the United States is probably one of the most corrupt countries in the world because they do everything on the pretext of being, you know, now, honest and decent. We got a little bit of time here. I want to tell you this, folks, straight up. When freedom is outlawed, only outlaws are free. I don't want to be an outlaw, but let me tell you, the laws are forcing me to be. Let me tell you something straight up here. We're going to be bringing you this video right here throughout the season and many other surprises, so you stay tuned. Fire baptism the lost sacraments. Me and Buzzy nailed it last season when we were talking about it. Huh? Jesus Christ and weed. There's a, there's a puzzle there to put together, and let me tell you, we're going to shine the light on the subject. Fire baptism of Jesus Christ is illegal. That's right, to obtain worldwide. The holy oil of God described in Exodus 30, 23 is illegal to manufacture. This shocking film traces the history of the holy oil of God and to its connections to the fire baptism of Jesus Christ. By this oil anointing is how we were called Christians according to the earliest church fathers and leaves every Christian on the planet falsely anointed or not anointed at all. The holy oil of God has been deceived for century, all right? And the Antichrist is deceived us all. Who's the Antichrist? There he goes! Good Lord Almighty, it's good to be back in the studio here for season four. Buzzy Zipwack, my brother of another mother. You are with the Department of Freedom. Get involved, people. Get involved is all I can say. I encourage you. I encourage you with all my mind, all my strength, all my heart. Get involved. Do something. Email us. Tell us what you think. Peace and love to you. Buzzy, you got any last words? Hey, you know, we've said this so many times in the past. You know, you cannot have freedom of speech without freedom of thought. So clear your heads. Learn this stuff, educate yourself, and hey, there's always hope. There sure is. There's got to be hope without it. If we didn't have hope, we wouldn't be here doing our rants. I got to tell you. All right, folks, till next week, tune in to find out if you're a guinea pig. Peace out. Ooh. This is a test of the emergency bone hood system. This is only a test. Fire is bad as hell. I don't want fire takers anymore. This is a test of the emergency bone hit system. The bone hitters in your area and voluntary defiance of federal, state, and local authorities have developed this system to keep you informed in the event of a bone hit emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, the attention signal you just heard would have been followed by official supply information, police scanner news, and emergency bone hitting instructions. This concludes this test of the emergency bone hit system. Quit playing games with God! Stay tuned for more of Marijuana's March Through History. <laughs> Wake up, America.